Hello everyone, hello Space Monkeys, hello, hello Bijani fans. Um, uh, my name is Guillaume Brunier, I'm senior producer on Bijani 2 and I'm here with Emile Morel, associate creative director. Uh, we are going to show you in a few moments uh, our E3 2018 demo mm -hmm. uh, for the first time. We're very excited to share this uh, with you guys. Uh, here with us are Audrey, uh, our level design director. Uh, she's going to be playing the demo for us. And she's joined um, by Johan, um, our lead QC. Uh, he's going to also be playing the game uh, with us. Mm -hmm. um, just before we start, uh, this is an early build. Uh, as I said, we're very excited to share it with you. Uh, but consider everything you see as a work in progress, uh, of course. Um, so this is our E3 2018 uh, mm -hmm. demo. Uh, this is the version in which we added uh, a lot of um, contribution from the community, but we'll see that in a few mm -hmm. yes. moments. So press the button, guys. <laughs> OK. so. As I was saying, um, at E3 this year, we announced um, with uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, mm -hmm. uh, we announced a partnership with HitRecord where our fans and everybody around the world can contribute to um, assets, art assets, music assets on the game. Uh, and Emil, uh, yeah, since and you worked uh, a lot on this. We, we've uh, been yeah. super happy with the result that we got from this collaboration. And we received a lot of uh, assets, uh, um, some uh, graphical elements, some sound elements. And here you have a very good example of one of those elements uh, that we integrated, integrated in this um, version of the demo. It's the what we call the Moksha's Gate. Uh, it's actually a drawing that has, that has been made by hybrids, who actually, for them, Moksha is very important. It's a legend. It's a, it's a myth. Uh, it's this mysterious gate floating in space. Mm -hmm. And they hope that one day they will be able to cross through that gate to maybe reach a safe heaven. So hybrids who are considered you know, as slaves in this world actually uh, dream about moksha. And they like to draw it on the walls. Mm -hmm like you see uh, on this image And here. so this image has been made by the community. By the community. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yes. and we're going to see more of more them. More example of that uh, in the demo. demo. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, OK, so BGN2 uh, is um, an online uh, action adventure RPG mm -hmm. that you can play alone um, or with your friends in, uh, in co-op. And by the way, you can join in, join out anytime during the adventure so that you, you, uh, you team up with your friends. Um, here, uh, the demo today is going to be two players. So uh, Johan, who just joined, uh, is playing um, a hybrid monkey mm -hmm. character that he completely customized, choose at the beginning of the game. Yes. Right? You choose your character at the beginning of the game, like any RPG. Uh, and you customize it with a weapon, with, a, with a, um, a gear, uh, mm -hmm. etc. And Audrey um, is playing uh, this uh, female uh, character uh, that she also customized. Uh, and she customized it so that she looks like uh, uh, in yeah, the, the trailer. Like exactly, yeah. yeah. um, so, uh, Everyone is playing their own character. That's very important mm -hmm. for us, right? You, you, you choose your character and you create your own character and your own path. Uh, well, you can, uh, we can start uh, progressing through this uh, room. Maybe uh, you can so give, yeah, to give, give a bit of context about uh, where the characters are at this point. So we are on the planet Soma, which is one of the main planets uh, in, the, in the game. And more specifically, we are in Ganesha City, mm -hmm. uh, the city that we saw in our first uh, trailer. And uh, our two characters here have heard about you know, some hybrids uh, trafficking, some weird experiments taking place in this old uh, abandoned temple. So at this moment, they are exploring this temple to discover some mysteries. And they actually don't know what mm. they are going to find uh, in this uh, we, temple. We can easily imagine that they, they, they gathered information exactly. uh, through their uh, investigation, yes. through, uh, through their uh, previous uh, adventures. Yeah. And they, they led to that place, but they don't exactly know uh, what's, what's going, going on. going to happen, right? exactly. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, uh, before we continue, um, uh, something that we want to point out is that uh, what we want the players to leave in BGN2 is uh, the space pirate fantasy. Mm -hmm. right? We want you uh, to live the life of a space pirate. And uh, to, to make sure that we deliver this, we've defined uh, what for us uh, defines a space pirate. So okay, we can even say a space pirate captain, right? Captain, yeah. you're right, exactly. Yeah. So, for us, uh, a space pirate captain has a, a gun, so you can shoot. Uh, he has, um, uh, he or she has a sword to fight, to you know, close combat mm -hmm, fighting, mm -hmm. and uh, a jetpack. So that these are the the basic um, yes. abilities that you're going to be using with yeah. your characters. So really basic. 
on top of this, yeah, on top of this, you can equip your uh, space pilot captain with what we call augments. Mm -hmm. Augments are, are kind of uh, you know special abilities, special powers uh, that you will collect as you play along the game, and you can equip those augments uh, either on your gun, your sword, or even on your character. Mm -hmm. And you can combine them, you know, to create kind of a specific deck. Uh, and this will, th these augments will really define the playstyle of yeah. your uh, and of you your can character. shoot uh, at exactly. your you can you, you at can your teammates. You can use those augments to uh, to annoy your teammates. So there's friendly fire. With exactly, friendly fire with, with that. So yeah, really, the augments will, uh, yeah, like I was saying, will create your own playstyle and and define how you progress in this adventure. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Stop fooling around, uh, we'll continue the demo. Um, so in BGN E2, uh, although you play uh, co-op uh, seamlessly, you don't need to stick to your uh, teammates uh, all the time. So here, we're following Johan uh, in this uh, little corridor uh, of, uh, of this temple. Uh, and Johan stumbles upon um, a room with uh, some creepy stuff. And actually, when we come closer, uh, we can see that these are hybrid monkeys parts, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. uh, cut cut down to pieces um, and uh, what we like to say is that um, in this world uh, of, um, of uh, oppression mm -hmm. where uh, citizens of the world are uh, under a very strict um, uh, control uh, then the pirates uh, they are rebelling against that uh, established order and uh, they, they go about uh, what they want to do and they want freedom mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. and what we like to say that if, if the player didn't escape his destiny as a hybrid slave yeah. then maybe uh, he would have uh, ended up um, in these uh, boxes yeah. and uh, cut down into pieces. Um, so yeah, so that's to give a bit of, uh, of context about the world we are we are living. So we are back on uh, Audrey, who's playing uh, the female character. Yeah, and she's arriving in this uh, kind of creepy room where we have those uh, scientists making some weird experiments. And she's going to use another specific equipment of the space pirates in our game. It's of course the spyglass. Uh, the spyglass allows you to scan your environment, uh, scan, o uh, scan also uh, enemies, characters. And here Audrey is scanning those uh, creepy scientists and she sees that they are also equ equipped with the specific augments. Mm -hmm. It's very important to say that augments can also be equipped on enemies and can totally change the way they will fight uh, against you. W one, so, one thing that yeah. we, that, that's very key for us and we need to repeat it mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. it's uh, enemies have the same abilities e as the e player. E exactly. So depending on, on the augments uh, that the enemies are, are equipped with, uh, they will behave totally in different uh, ways and you have to adapt your, uh, the way you fight them according to what they're e equipped with. Uh, so, for instance, uh, Audrey has been seeing that the scientists had some uh, healing bullets, mm -hmm. but they will be able to heal the other enemies, so it will be important to take them down uh, first. So, uh, bef yeah. Before we get yeah. into it, something also we can emphasize here is the feeling of adventure mm -hmm. that we want mm -hmm. the game to carry. Uh, we've got some progression, we've got some mystery, we've yeah. got some real stuff happening, uh, and then we can uh, uh, start the fight. Yeah, let's see how these guys uh, handle the fight. So you can see in the fight that the, the augments take a very, very important role. For instance, you have those domes uh, that will slow down the enemies. So they are very important uh, if you want to have time to actually uh, progress uh, next to your enemies and, uh, and hit them. Uh, so like I was saying, it, it would be very important to take down the scientists first because they have those uh, yeah, healing, healing, bullets. Uh, healing bullets. Oh, whoa, nice, uh, yeah, freeze, nice freeze. Nice uh, freeze, uh, freeze augments. Three person yeah. freeze. Exactly. So we want those combats to be, you know, very, very dynamic, and uh, and again, the, the the augments, the variety of, of augments, the number of augments that we uh, we have in the game will really give a lot of uh, depth and uh, diversity in those uh, in those fights. Yeah, in here we have just only a, a few samples. Yeah, exactly. Um, the one of the main message we want to have with this mm -hmm, is mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. um, the melee combat is back. Uh, from, from the first one. game, yeah, that's, exactly. that's very important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we will have some melee combat <coughs> that was going to be uh, on top of this melee combat. We have the augments that will give uh, deep uh, uh, feeling to the uh, to the to the fight. Yeah. So they did a great job. They yeah, good job, guys. Take down all those enemies, and now we can see that one of the hybrids that they were doing experiments on is still alive. So Johan is using the spyglass to scan uh, this enemy. 
and uh, with the spyglass, we see that uh, this uh, this hybrid on the table has, uh, is equipped with, uh, is actually a mechanic. He has the skill of a mechanic, and this will be an, uh, also a very very important element of the game. You will be able to recruit uh, crew members because you're a space pirate captain, so you will have of course yeah, yeah. a ship, even several ships, and you will have a crew. And uh, it will be important to uh, gather the right crew members for your progressions. We're not saying too many things mm. about this right now, but keep in mind that this is very important for the progression of the of the players in this uh, game. Yeah, I said uh, earlier <coughs> that uh, as a pirate captain, you have a gun, a sword, yeah. and a jetpack. Then you have a ship and a crew mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm, That's very exactly. important for us. And we will see the ship actually in a few yeah. seconds. Well, uh, now uh, we're going to go out of the uh, of this um, uh, small temple. Mm -hmm. um, and so just for the purpose of the demo, we placed uh, conveniently uh, these vehicles here. Uh, but the main thing is, is that uh, whatever you see in the game, whatever vehicle you see, you can drive it, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, now uh, we're going to go out of the uh, of this uh, building, as I said, into the uh, into the city, uh, and this city is uh, Ganesha City. Mm -hmm. So this is the city that we uh, that you saw in the uh, in mm -hmm. the trailers, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's uh, so it's now um, in game. Uh, yeah. It's uh, it's. Uh, a very very good job from 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 the team to have built this city in game uh, here uh, as i said earlier you don't need to stick to your partner when you play the game whether the, you're in a small place or in the city so johan went uh, doing uh, do other business mm -hmm. while we're following audrey who's going to who's going to give us a tour of the of the of the city uh, so here down uh, down this uh, uh, walls you've got some shanty towns with uh, uh, well, hybrids uh, are, yeah, are living. It's actually the, the, the lower part of the city is where the hybrids are, are, mm. are living, yeah. Uh, here you see some... Um, uh, oh, on the, on the left, yeah. yeah, on the left here. Actually, we, we've been seeing a lot of uh, graphical elements that were also coming from our partnership with uh, it recalled created yeah. by our community. And this one is a huge, uh, of course, a, a huge fresco, a huge murals that has been made by, uh, by a member of the community. And, uh, and really, uh, it, shows, uh, it shows that the, our cities in the game are kind of, uh, you know, um, a way, uh, a place for people to express yeah, themselves yeah. and put their own uh, artworks. Whoop. Uh, Careful, so, <laughs> so you can expect a lot of places uh, like that in the cities where uh, huge artworks will be uh, displayed and artworks created by our community, which is really something unique. One thing we want to convey as uh, as, uh, as cities go um, is the mix between um, uh, new technology, mm -hmm. holograms, mm -hmm. and uh, old style uh, monuments, such as this uh, giant statue. Uh, everywhere you see, uh, uh, whatever you see on the, in the city, you can land on mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no, uh, no hidden wall or, or whatever. Uh, the whole seamless aspect of the city, uh, and we're going to see, we're going to drive through, uh, through it a bit, uh, a bit more, but it's very key for, for us. Being a space pirate, you, what you want to be is free, right? Mm -hmm. I want to mm -hmm. be free, that's mm -hmm. what space pirates want. Then to convey this freedom, freedom um, uh, feeling, we have this seamless um, navigation uh, f through the city and we'll see uh, beyond. Here uh, you can see uh, the traffic uh, in the city being um, uh, dense uh, on, with the spyglass. Audrey can uh, scan every uh, entity here, so here a police station. Uh, you can see close to the police station that there are uh, a police ship, uh, a big frigate, uh, many, many uh, traffic vehicles that you can scan, that you can drive, you can steal. Uh, so um, this is a delivery, <laughs> a delivery uh, spaceship. This is a, a temple, for example. Um, we have some um, banks in, yeah, yeah, over, over here. There, yeah. Uh, so if you need some money, you can go mm -hmm. and uh, and make some heist, for exactly. example, or just go and withdraw yeah. some money. Yeah. Uh, and uh, when once you have the money, you can uh, go and buy some new stuff, uh, gear, uh, augments, uh, weapons um, in the uh, in these shops. It's important to say that a huge city like Ganesha City is, of course, full of opportunities for space pirates. Yeah. Uh, you can you but, can yeah you can choose to attack those spaces. And, but you uh, need to be beware of the police. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Audrey is going to take. Uh, another um, motor bike flying motorbike and uh, we're going to continue the tour uh, of the of the of the city so Audrey is going to drive through um, uh, main street uh, ganesha city um, the so in ganesha city we've got um, radio uh, mm -hmm. that's called radio cheetah which is a pirate radio actually we have this radio in most of the, yeah. the world because it's the radio that uh, the space pirates are listening to and what you're hearing right now has been created by the community exactly 
they've been creating uh, jingles, you know, stingers uh, for this uh, Space Pirate Radio called Radio Cheetah. And they've also been created, of course, uh, they've been creating some specific songs, uh, rock and roll songs and songs that really embody this, uh, you know, rebellious uh, aspect that we want to have among the pirates uh, in the game. So now we didn't do it in the first place, but let's take a moment to thank all the contributors yeah, yeah. Uh, for, uh, for, for, the, for the work that you've They've done. done an, it's, it's, an amazing it's really, job, yeah, yeah. really good. Um, now we've reached uh, this high bridge in uh, Ganesha City. It's uh, overlooking uh, the giant uh, Ganesha statue yeah, there. We're going to yeah. go up. Johan is here still. Uh, and we're going to take a moment now to um, yeah. walk you through uh, the customization, customization aspect yeah. of the ship. I think it's important to say that basically you can customize all uh, aspects of your, exp your, your, your experience as a space pirate captain. And one of those aspects is of course the, the, the ships that will be very, very important for your experience. Uh, so here Audrey is in the customization menu for the, for the ship and she's, uh, she's changing modules uh, that will actually change of course the visual aspect of the game, but the, of the ship, sorry, but also the way that the, you, you, you pilot uh, your ship, the, the the statistics of your uh, of your uh, mm. ship, uh, so you can change the the different modules, the wings, the the cabin, the the, the engine. Uh, then of course the, the the equipment, the weapons that you put on on, on your ship, and uh, and then you have what we call the cosmetic, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a customization. So you can change the colors, the patterns on your ship, uh, and uh, of course you can also place um, a, a pirate logo on your ship. Emblem, uh, yeah. an emblem, yeah, exactly. So that's what she's doing now. Yeah. So now yeah. Dre is happy with her, with this ship, and we see it uh, in the in the game. So yeah, we can see in the, in in the, the distance. distance Johan is actually having some trouble because you know he's been flying in the city and he got a bit too close from the famous Ganesha city. You know, uh, most of the tourists they actually come to witness uh, to see this beautiful uh, statue. And uh, and now uh, you are, the police arrives to actually uh, prevent Johan to go too close from this uh, yeah because uh, statue. because there we've got city rules there are right both, exactly uh, and you cannot do anything you want and. If you break these rules, then the police is coming uh, after you. Exactly. So Johan is in a bit of trouble, and Audrey has arrived to uh, help uh, him uh, take down all these uh, police uh, ship. And if you take a look around, you will also see that there is a big uh, frigate, a, a, a bigger uh, ship uh, owned by the police. And this one is actually too uh, big to be destroyed uh, mm. by the player because they are not equipped with the right equipment on their uh, ships. So uh, they, they have to take down those uh, small ships and try, and try to, uh, to, to escape. What's really important also is that we've been talking about the augments. Uh, the yeah. ships will also be equipped with augments. Yeah. For instance, you will be able to have some uh, healing uh, missiles to, uh, to heal your, uh, your partners your partner in co-op. Yeah. Mm. Like, exactly. So this will also give a lot of depth uh, with those spaceship Whoa. battles. And here we're seeing an example of a dogfight, of course, yeah. but you also have to imagine that you will have much more uh, bigger, you know, battles uh, involving motherships. Yeah. We will see a mothership uh, later, uh, and you have to imagine that you will be able to fight also with those motherships. Can you guys go close to the uh, to the big statue so that we can <laughs> see the, the just the size of it? Yeah, it's huge. Wow. Thank you, you very much. Detail on the statue. Nice. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, now that this um, this fight against the police is is, is come is come to an end, they don't they don't they are, they are not going to uh, attack the big frigate because they don't have the the yeah, skills they, they, the skill they, they, they set yet. yet yeah. um, so um, what we're going to do is um, earlier in the in the um, in the gameplay, mm -hmm. Audrey parked uh, her mothership, which is a ship much bigger than this one, um, a few uh, southern kilometers away from yeah. uh, where we are. Uh, so we're going to go there and don't don't worry, it's going to take no time because we are at very, very big speeds. Whoops, nice. <laughs> uh, so we're going to fly over uh, Ganesha City. So that's the streets where we were just in before. Um, and they are still uh, here bustling with life yeah. as we, as we yeah, depart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, here, um, we're going to go up uh, the atmosphere in the direction of uh, Audrey's ship. And here, that's the moment that's very important for me and I like to do it. <laughs> I want to remind everybody watching that uh, a few minutes ago, maybe 10 minutes ago, we were inside a small temple um, fighting uh, some uh, weird scientists yeah. um, and in close quarter combat. Uh, then we hopped on um, uh, a motorbike, uh, flew through the city, through the traffic, uh, had a fight with, um, with the um, police of the city mm -hmm, mm -hmm. over the Ganesha statue. And now we are uh, a few thousand kilometers away, like this, in, in, in no time. And that seamless 
um, transition between uh, different uh, scales mm -hmm. is what makes uh, BGNE so special. Yeah. Uh, on top of these scales, we've got systems that are uh, crossing each other, right? We've got um, uh, the police, we've got uh, the ship system, we've got everything that's, that's coming together in the same uh, shard of, um, of gameplay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that's really what we want to point out, and that's what we think BGN2 is going to be very special to play. Uh, yeah, so and, yeah, and fix are still running in real time. It's important to say yeah. that, the, the, like you were saying, the city is still active. Exactly, and, uh, exactly. Everything and is still running. And, and the running. planet below mm -hmm. is is there. We can go anywhere exactly, on the planet. Exactly. We can even go to uh, other planets. Yeah. Uh, so here, um, Audrey is going to get out of the spaceship. Yeah, on uh, on, sh on uh, the character, you see yeah, uh, sure, yeah. a small um, uh, shield effect. That's very work in progress. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. it's going to be better looking sir but uh, but for the consistency of the, the the world we wanted to make sure that you can get out of your uh, spaceship uh, without uh, dying from um, mm -hmm. from the lack of air mm -hmm. so there's a some kind of nano suit or something like this exactly. uh, to to allow you to um, to be outside of your ship even if there's no air to breathe and on the planet, uh, we can see another good example of actually uh, creations yeah, from yeah. our community via it record. Uh, these creations are mysterious uh, geoglyph. Uh, so this is a monkey, of course. Mm -hmm. And those uh, geoglyph will be actually, um, some of them actually will be uh, some hints for some treasures, you know, mm -hmm. hidden on the planet. So you will be seeing those geoglyph as you fly in space, you know, mm -hmm. on the planet. And you will have to go closer to the ground to actually find where a treasure could be hidden uh, near those mysterious uh, geoglyphs. That, that these kind of um, elements are really critical for us because, as I said uh, earlier, BGNE2 is all about the different scales. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need uh, players, uh, gamers, to be attracted uh, by elements at different scales. So exactly. here, you're mm -hmm. flying through, mm -hmm. the, the, through the, uh, the universe with your spaceship. At the scale of the city, uh, at the scale of the planet, you will be attracted by this giant stuff, and yeah. you will be um, attracted to go and to see what's at the tip of the mm -hmm, tail, mm -hmm. and maybe you'll find a, uh, a dungeon, or maybe yeah, you'll yeah. find a village, or, mm -hmm. or, or, or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> if uh, Audrey, if you want to look uh, uh, down at uh, Ganesha City with your uh, mm -hmm. spyglass. So <coughs> here we, s we can uh, have the information, it's Ganesha City. Yeah, we can even uh, see the statue, it's very small, but yeah, it's still yeah, there. It's, it's, it's here, the, the big Ganesha statue yeah. is, is here. Uh, so it's still uh, rendered by the, mm -hmm. by, the, uh, mm -hmm. by the engine, Voyager engine, the engine that we're making for, for this game. Uh, look, it's still here, and, uh, and Johan could be in the city uh, as we look uh, down at it from, uh, from this distance. Uh, there are other cities uh, that you can have information on. Um, and if we, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Audrey. Uh, so mm -hmm. now, um, now it's um, what we want to, to, to show here is um, our universe map. Universe map, right? yeah, exactly. Universe mm -hmm. map. So uh, the, the specificity is that this is not a 2D image. This is the 3D rendering of the planet. So what we're sh showing here is actually uh, the, uh, the same um, uh, geoglyph that we showed mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. the first place. You can see Ganesha City. You can see uh, uh, we've added for, for your convenience uh, a lot of uh, icons to, to show you where you've been, icons to, to show you where you haven't been. If we zoom back, we see that uh, um, Ganesha City is actually uh, at the, uh, the tip of uh, a continent that is looking like, uh, like India. India yeah. um, if we go on the other side of the planet, yes, thank you, Audrey. Uh, we see that this part of the planet is uh, much less, uh, it's much, much more hostile. Mm -hmm. And if you want to give yeah, some Yeah, it's uh, actually, some it comes from, from the very, very specific ecosystem that we have on, on, on Soma. Uh, Soma is actually a moon rotating around a gas giant. And uh, one side of the planet, the side where Ganesha City is, mm -hmm. is always turned toward this gas giant, so protected by this huge planet. And this side here is always turned toward space. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's frequently bombarded with huge uh, meteorite yeah. showers breaking the ground of the planet and, and creating these huge uh, craters, uh, basically. So if you want to zoom back, uh, Audrey, again, um, here we have the planet scale, mm -hmm. so we can still see uh, we are, we are uh, in, the, in the universe map. Uh, we can zoom back again. So uh, this is the um, Deus uh, subsystem mm -hmm, scale. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you can see Deus, the big, um, the big uh, gas giant. Uh, Somwa, the planet where we were, and Chandra, which who is the another uh, location for us. Uh, and we can uh, zoom back again 
and that's uh, system three yeah. um, and, uh, and the different uh, locations uh, that, that we have in system three. And of course, at the center of system three, there is a, a sun, an equivalent of the sun, and this is what creates our day and night cycle in the game. You're right. We haven't specifically uh, created this day and night cycle. It's just the fact that you know planets are rotating yeah. in real time around the sun that creates our day and night cycle uh, in the game. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you want to come back to the player's view, thank you in uh, no time. Thank you very much. Um, so um, now, uh, Johan is still uh, around, I think. Yes, he is. We can see him. Uh, and as I said in the, in the first place in the demo, uh, you don't need to stick together at the very small... You play co-op, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you don't need to stick together in a dungeon. You don't need to stick together in a city, but you don't even need to stick together in the universe. So you're still in the same game universe but you can go away from your partners and, and join back again when you when you need to uh, so here uh, Johan has started uh, um, to um, leave uh, the atmosphere of uh, Soma and as you saw as soon as Johan left the atmosphere the uh, fire uh, and flame effect yeah, on the, um, the air friction the air friction yeah. is not there anymore yeah. so now the speeds that Johan can reach are really uh, uh, mm -hmm. limitless actually yeah, exactly um, so that's what we wanted to share uh, with you today. Uh, it's uh, it, it was really a pleasure to uh, mm, yes, to comment to, uh, to comment yeah, this, yeah. this this demo. Um, stay tuned for more. Um, just just I'm, I'm gonna want want to wrap, wrap things up, up yeah. mm -hmm. uh, saying that what we are trying to do with BGN2, as we said, we want you to live uh, the fantasy of a space uh, pirate, mm -hmm. uh, your space pirate, your own space pirate. We want uh, this to be a completely seamless experience where you can go wherever you want, whenever you want, and to play with all the system that we, uh, that we have um, uh, implemented in the game. Mm -hmm. um, and in the end, we want to make uh, Ubisoft their own space opera. Exactly. That's, that's what exactly. drives us. Yeah. Uh, so stay tuned for more. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the demo. Thanks, uh, the demoists. Thank you Thank very you. much. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and see you soon. Thank you.